Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 63rd tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to check out some more string functions. Now in the last tutorial we checked out three string functions. In this one we are going to probably check out three more and uh, that will be the end of our discussion on strings and we will continue our discussion on uh, other C topics and we'll talk about strings more if uh, there would be need uh, later on in this course but uh, this is going to be the last tutorial on this mini tutorial series on uh, strings in C right so as you can see using code blocks I have saved a file I have uh, given the name string functions part 2 it has the extension dot C and on line 1 in this file I have the std io dot h header file on line 2 I have the std io dot h header file again I have to correct that it has to be string dot h because we're going to use string function so we will need the string dot h header file and on line 3 I have the main function declaration on uh, line 4 I have the opening curly brace for main and then I have uh, two character array declarations and initialization statements in fact so the first one is called str1 so that's our first string in the program and the second one is called str2 the first string has the value hello and the next one has the value what's up right and there's a question mark at the end in the second string right so these are the two strings and the first method that we're going to check out in this course is the strcmp method or the string compare method and it allows you to check whether one string is equal to the other string or not right so if the strings are exactly same right if they're identical only then the uh, strcmp function returns zero otherwise in all other cases it will return one so we're going to use an if else block and uh, the strcmp method to generate appropriate messages if the strings are equal to each other or not right so we're going to have the if statement first and the test condition is going to include the strcmp method right and the function obviously takes two arguments and both the arguments are going to be of string type because we're going to check whether the first string is equal to the second or not right and the order of strings does not matter so even if you would have str2 comma str1 it won't make any difference right because the strings would be compared in any case right and uh, i'll type in str2 here as a second argument now one thing that you need to know about strcmp is that if the strings that are passed to it as arguments are the same then the function returns zero right and if the strings are not the same if the strings are different then the function returns one now if you're using the strcmp as a test uh, condition in the if statement then you have to put in the uh, not operator at the beginning of your test condition because you know if you won't do this then the else block would execute if the if the strings are same right and if you would have this then the if block would execute if the string are same so you'll understand that in just a moment so let me you know get inside the if block and in the if block I'm just gonna have one printf statement that's gonna display the message uh, the strings are same and the if block as I said would get executed if the strings are same right and uh, then in the else block I'll have another printf statement and this one's going to display the message the strings are not the same or the strings are different let's be a little economical and I'll put in a semicolon at the end of this statement and when I click on build and run I see that I get the message the strings are different because the strings are indeed different right so if I would change the second string and if I would uh, you know make it hello and make it identical to the first string and then click on build and run I would see that in the output mess uh, window I get the message the strings are same so that's about the strcmp function remember that when the strings are same the function returns zero and when the strings are different the function returns a non-zero value right so that's about the strcmp function let's get rid of all this code because the next function that we're going to check out requires us to have just one string and the function that we're going to check out is strchr method and it tells you whether a character that is passed as an argument to the function is present in the string that's also passed as an argument to the function right so let's check out its syntax and uh, let's use the if statement with this function too so we're going to have uh, str1 as the first argument to the function and then we're going to pass different characters as the second argument and we're going to see whether the characters that are passed exist in the string or not right so let me type in strchr here and uh, then as the first argument I'll type in the name of my string which is str1 
and then as a second argument within single quotes because we are passing characters so you know we'll have to get in a pair of single quotes here and uh, I'll type in H first let me check whether capital H is present in the str1 string or not right and uh, if this uh, character is present in the string then the function is going to return a non-zero value and the if block would be executed right so this is uh, unlike the strcmp method in which if the strings are same zero is returned if the strings are not the same then a non-zero value is returned so this is different please make a note of it and uh, then within a pair of uh, curly braces i'll have in a printf statement i'll display the message the character exists in the string right and uh, if the character is not found then we can also have an else block which will execute if this function returns zero as the value and uh, let's have a printf function in the else block too and let's make this one display the message why did i put in curly braces i need parentheses here and then within double quotes i'll type in the character is not present right so i don't understand why i'm making so many typos today and i'll put in a full stop at the end to terminate the statement i'll get in a semicolon i'll save the file and when i click on build and run but well, there's an error here and uh, that's because i haven't put a semicolon here so i'll put that save the file and when i click on build and run i see that in the output window i get the message the character exists in the string right and that's because h is present and if i would uh, type in l here then uh, i would see that the character exists in the string but if i would type in p here right so if i would pass p as the character to the function i know that p is not a part of my string if i would click on build and run i would see that the character is not present right so that's about the str chr method the last method that we're going to check out is the str str method and that checks whether a string is present in another string or not right so let's expand this first string let's uh, make it hello world with an exclamation symbol instead of just hello and uh, let's declare another string on the next line and uh, let's give it the name str2 and uh, i'll have to get a pair of square brackets and then i'll give it the value world right and i'll put in a semicolon to terminate this statement and uh, we'll have to alter the printf statements in the if block and the else block but before doing that let's replace the str chr function with the str str method right and uh, this function as i said takes two arguments it checks whether the second string is present in the first string or not so let me replace this character with the name of the second string which is str2 so i'll have to modify the printf statement in the if block and uh, instead of displaying the message the character exists in the string i can display something like str2 exists in str1 right and uh, over here i can display the message str2 is not present in str1 right so that does it now I'll save the file and when i click on build and run i see that str2 exists in str1 right so that's the message i get and uh, if i would change world to something like uh, hey right and if i would execute the program again then i see that str2 is not present in str1 so the str chr method and the str str method both the methods actually return pointers to the first occurrences of whatever they find in the string right so if you are using the str chr method and if you pass a character as the second argument then the function returns you know the pointer to the first occurrence of that character in the string you do not have to know all uh, of this in too much detail right you just have to know how you can check whether a string is uh, present in another string or not or whether a character is present in another character or not this is probably what you would be required to do on most occasions right so uh, thank you so much for watching this tutorial i'm going to see you in the next one in which we'll discuss uh, not strings but something interesting for sure maybe we'll start our discussion on structures and uh, it'll be fun so stay tuned for updates and please subscribe to my channel in case you haven't already and i'll see you soon